everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be going through all of the books that i hope to get through by the end of 2024 i also got the taylor swift folklore cardigan y'all i'm so happy that this got like put back on the website i immediately got it let me stand and let you have a look see don't mind the outfit i'm wearing a big t-shirt i promise i have shorts on but like i just feel so cozy in this i just love it and the stars on the sleeves everything's just perfection i'm in florida it's still exceptionally hot outside but when it gets to a nice 70 degrees i will be wearing this in the fall that florida has i will be wearing this all the time i also just want to say i want to get through these books i have every single intention of getting through all of these books by the end of 2024 but i'm also a mood reader like crazy style i can't stick to a list i like to have a list and then something will come up on tiktok or my friends will tell me about some book and i'll be like oh my gosh i have to read that and then it just throws me off to all of this so yeah we'll see what i actually get through here's to hoping right if you haven't already make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content and without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> So first we're gonna talk about books that haven't come out yet. One of my most anticipated releases already came out and that was Reckless by Lauren Roberts and I already read that book. So I will not be including it in this video, but just know that was like number one most anticipated release. One of my other highly anticipated releases of the year is Daydream by Hannah Grace. I have absolutely loved this little trilogy so far. I don't know if it's a trilogy or if it's going to be a series. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a trilogy. I don't, I don't know. I kind of forgot. I know she said it. Don't quote me on that. And this is about Hallie and Henry. And Henry is captain of the hockey team. We saw him in like previous books in Icebreaker and Wildfire. He's like part of the friend group. And Hallie is a romance reader and she's also an academic superstar. So she starts tutoring Henry. That's basically the vibes but i have just loved the maple hill series so far it's spicy it's fluffy it's cute it's just like everything i need it's always they're always just like so engaging and i also love the cover illustrations i just absolutely love them but don't let them fool you but yeah i am super super excited for daydream by hannah grace i did a pre-order for daydream from the ripped bodice so it's gonna be signed so i'll actually have a signed edition and then i also bought the little trilogy set i'm pretty sure it was probably smut but it's like special editions of all three and i think those ones are signed too i don't care if i'm an overconsumption queen i have really really gotten into like special editions and the collecting side of books because I just love organizing my bookshelf. It's very like zen and therapeutic for me. So I don't feel like I'm being an overconsumption queen. I'm definitely just collecting and reading books. But yeah, I'm so excited for my editions of Daydream to come out and I submitted my little pre-order receipt to get the stickers and the bookmark from Simon & Schuster. So I'm all up on it. I'm also super, super excited for Nothing Like the Movies by Lynn Painter. For those of you who don't know, I'm sure everyone in their mom knows, but this is the sequel to Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter, and it is just like the most perfect rom com ever. There's rom com references, there's Taylor Swift references. It's not too much, it's not like crazy. Nothing like the movies is about them going to college. Something happened and they broke up, so now Wes has to like rom-com scheme getting Liz back. That's what I've taken from it. I am also excited for Sky Shade by Alex Astor to come out. That is the third book in the Light Lark series. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that the Light Lark series is like the best thing ever. I well, I know a lot of Book Talk hates it. And I like low key kind of don't blame them because what it is advertised as is just not what it is. It's advertised as these like deadly games and they're not deadly. They're introduced as trials to break the curses. They're actually demonstrations. And I don't know the marketing on that's a little weird, but it did get the job done. It is a very good love triangle enemies to lovers, morally gray villain sort of, you know, like it, it does get the job done. So I am excited for book number three. I'm reading Nightbane right now. 
now. So I am excited for Sky Shade to come out, but I also really, really like listening to Light Lark, like that series as an audiobook. I don't know why, but it like is way more engaging to me as an audiobook. So now let's get on to books that I either have on my Kindle or I have them right here in this lovely pile. I have been really, really wanting to read Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I don't know why I've been putting it off. There's no specific reason. I really couldn't tell you. Once again, it's just me getting distracted by like mood reading, but I love a good childhood friends to lovers and so many people love this book. So I really, really want to read it this year and finally like see what the hype is all about. I really want to read Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. This book's on Kindle Unlimited, but my friend actually bought the physical copy for me. I don't know much about it, but all I know is that it's like, if you loved Fourth Wing, you'll love this. And apparently it's really, really good. Bella Donna by Adeline Grace is very, very hyped up on Book Talk. And I have been wanting to read this book forever. I actually almost started it one time. I don't know what is up with me like almost starting books and then I get so sidetracked. I have been really, really into YA fantasy this year. I don't know what it is. But the tension in YA romantic books is just like nothing I've ever read before. It just has me giggling. It has me kicking my feet and I, they're so addicting. I don't know what it is. They're just so addicting. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but I have heard such great things about Abby Jimenez just for the summer. I've heard so many people rant and rave about this book. There's like cute illustrations in this book. Where is it at? I just saw, there it is. There's like little illustrations in the book and the cover is so cute. And this is basically about a girl and every single guy she dates ends up finding their soulmate like right after they stop dating her. Both of them are basically like love's good luck charm. So they decide to date each other to like cancel out the curse. They're like, oh, well, if we date each other, then the next person we meet will be our soulmate you know it's giving summer I just love the idea of this I feel like that's really unique and I'm really excited to like experience her writing because I've just heard so many people say that they love this book they love other books she's written and I'm very excited to give her a try the next book that I have been like non-stop hearing about since it came out recently was a novel love story by Ashley Poston can we just take a second to appreciate this cover it's so cute it's so vibrant our female main character gets left at the altar and she's like screw real men I love fictional men hashtag me too girl I, I like how I said hashtag me too girl even though I have like the most loving healthy relationship y you know what I mean <laughs> so funny I'm always like on the internet like oh my gosh I love fictional men blah 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 when I literally have like the most loving perfect boyfriend in the universe I think I think that's so funny I think so many book girls can relate to that anyways back to the point she gets left at the altar she's like screw real men I love fictional men and she goes on her book club's like annual retreat and on the way there her car breaks down the town she's stuck in is like straight out of a fairy tale straight out of a book and it's because it's the town that her favorite romance book series is set in and she comes to meet a grumpy bookstore owner in the town that sounds intriguing to me so this is another like random book I picked up at Barnes and Noble because I thought it sounded good this is another little YA moment this is never vacation with your ex it's a little second chance romance this is giving the summer I turn pretty their families go on summer vacation together every year and they were dating but they've stopped dating and she has gotten over him but he has not gotten over her so she's like listen let me help you get over me let me help you and then she actually ends up liking him again it's a little second chance moment but I thought this was really cute when I picked it up at Barnes Noble and I haven't seen anyone talk about this but I'm actually really excited for it I love a little YA summer I turn pretty moment this next book, I haven't read any of the others in the series. It's like a little standalones of like Disney retellings by different authors, but this is Tangled Up in You by Christina Lauren. When I saw Christina Lauren wrote this, I was astronomically surprised. That didn't really make sense. Anyways, I was very surprised. You get the point. This is like a modern Tangled retelling. So our FMC has basically lived like off the grid her entire life and she gets a chance to go to college. Anyways, that's basically all I know about this. It's like he's teaching her and guiding her throughout like the real world it's literally a tangled retelling I don't I don't know what else to tell you but it's like set in college I think you get the gist but I'm very excited for this I think it's gonna be a fun time this is a book that I saw on TikTok and um <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm, I hope this lives up to my expectations. There's some Taylor Swift like reference 
books, whatever, that are just way too much and it cringes me out. There was one book I read, I'm not gonna name names, the playlist by Morgan Elizabeth, where the Taylor Swift references were literally just too much and I had to stop reading. It was actually ridiculous. But this is Lucky Charm by Anne Marie Meyer. I have no idea if this actually has Taylor Swift references in it, but this is Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, famous pop star and NFL football player. So I'm really freaking excited for this one. The next book up is The Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Lind. I honestly picked this up it's published by Red Tower Books, which is the same publisher as Fourth Wing. The art on this book is just absolutely amazing. And it's also like a dystopian fantasy low-key series. It's basically about a dystopian New York where there's like monsters and humans and it's a romantic scene and she like falls in love with a monster. It's, it's, it's like, it's giving dystopian beauty and the beast in my opinion and I was very intrigued. I'm praying it, it lives up to the expectations in my head. I really haven't seen people talking about this but I hope it's good. I also really want to read Gothicana by Runix. I think that's how you say the author's name but this is like a dark romance. Look at these end pages really quick. Like that's so gorgeous. All I know is that this is dark academia vibes, dark romance. She gets an admission letter from this like school thing. I'm into it. Next is A Fragile Enchantment by Allison Saft. This is also like fey fantasy YA. I just love a good easily digestible YA fantasy. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some of the books that I have on my Kindle that I don't like physically have with me. The first book I actually ran across on TikTok the other day. So I just watched... <sighs> I just watched Twisters the other day. I've been listening to Ain't No Love in Oklahoma by Luke Combs on repeat. I'm not even joking you, I listen to that song 50 times a day. I have a very, very unhealthy obsession with Glenn Powell TikTok edits. Me and my best friend were squealing in the theater every time he came on the screen. So left the movie and we were like, we need a Storm Chaser book. We need a Storm Chaser romance book. And that's exactly what I found. And it's called Chased by Hazel James. It's basically Twisters. He's like a womanizer, a Storm Chaser. <sighs> that's all I needed to know. I'm gonna be so honest. It's bad. It's like actually a really bad. It's actually really bad. But um, Twisters is going to be a part of my new little like comfort series. All of my friends love it. I love it. It's just, um, it was really good. It was really good. If you haven't seen Twisters, go watch it and then go read the book I just told you about. Another book on Kindle Unlimited that I'm excited to read is Cinderella is Faking It by Dylan Dyer. This is like a Cinderella retelling, obviously, but it's like in college. I think the second, pretty sure it's the second book in this little like series came out and it's basically different like modern retellings of fairy tales and the first one is Cinderella. It's spicy. You got me. You got me. As you can see with Tangled Up in You, you got me with the fairy tale retellings. So I'm going to eat that up. I just, I just know it in my soul. And then I also really, really want to start Zodiac Academy. I've heard nothing but good things about Zodiac Academy. It's about to get traditionally published. I don't know why it took so long, honestly, because so many people love it. I'm so excited to read that. It has every single like fantasy element you could want in it. It's at a school for like vampires, werewolves, like everything. It's very, very spicy. It's low key dark and it follows sort of different couples throughout the whole series. It is a long series. It is like nine books, maybe more. I think it's nine with some like novellas and stuff. I really, really want to at least read the first book and like see how I feel about it, but I have a feeling I'm going to really, really like it. Now, this is, this is going to scratch the F1 itch that I constantly have. I'm so happy that more books of like F1 romance books are getting published because I absolutely love Formula One Cross the Line by Simone Soltani. This is an F1 romance and as soon as I saw that I didn't need to know anymore. I think it's going to be so so good and I'm very very excited to read it. Now I didn't think I was into like dragon romanticy but I am. When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. It's like fourth wing and I think that's all it's like fourth it's like fourth wing. It has dragons in romance. I don't think I need to say anymore. There's a lot of these books where I'm realizing the pattern has continued where I don't really know exactly what it's about, but if it has dragons and romance in it, I'm good. If it has F1, I'm hooked. Like it's very easy to please me. I just have to be thoroughly entertained. So those were all of the books that I really wanna read by the end of 2024. All of those books are definitely like on my priority list because these are the ones that I want to read like the most. Like I'm itching to read these, it just needs to be the right time. But 
Hopefully that gave you some insight, some little book recommendations on books you can add to your TBR. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys.